Years ago in Sydney, I found myself advising the city on urban mobility. On one infamous day, a minister's misguided anger would change everything. How dare they? Smug riders zooming past in my city while I'm stuck here. Get me the roads department on the phone. Rip it out. That bike lane is the problem. If I can't move, no one will. The minister thought the bike lane was causing traffic, but the evidence, the studies, all said otherwise. Too many cars were the real issue. The bike lane wasn't taking space from drivers. It had replaced a few parking spots. Bikes aren't the problem. Think beyond traffic. A split screen, the bike lane dismantled on one side, escalating gridlock on the other. By tearing out that lane, he made every way of getting around more dangerous. Congestion worsened, businesses suffered, pollution spiked, all because of one petty tantrum. We had to close down. The traffic was just unbearable and customers stopped coming. The protests worked. The minister didn't last much longer. Sydney rebuilt the bike lane and so much more. Today, it's a model city showing what's possible when you embrace cycling and evidence-based planning. Investing in cycling infrastructure isn't just about bikes. It's about better cities for everyone.